Hello, this is Kelsey Pipes, a Jaseo intern during the summer of 2010, reporting to you from the beautiful San Juan Islands. The project I am working on involves evaluating the health of the southern resident killer whales found in the inland waters of the San Juan Islands in Vancouver Island. It has been shown that an effective tool to examine the health of an animal is through its fecal matter. It's great because everyone poops. We are able to evaluate the health of the killer whale by examining the concentrations of hormones and toxins in the scat sample. So by looking at the scat, we can get an overall view of how the killer whale is doing. But then you might think to yourself, how would you get killer whale scat? And that's where conservation canines Tucker comes in. We check the direction of the wind using powder. Here Liz shows the driver which direction it blew with her arm. The driver records the compass direction in order to set up a survey. With about 200 million smell receptors, Tucker can smell about 100 million times better than his handler. This veteran has spent three summers leading researchers to killer whale scat. Here Liz is communicating to the driver where to navigate based on Tucker's change in behavior. Tucker and other conservation canines are motivated by their insane ball drive. Once we confirm that we have found the sample and that it is killer whale scat, Tucker is rewarded with his ball. the floating scat from the surface and process it for future analysis in the lab by condensing it into test tubes. Most of the killer whale poop that we find is floating. It's likely that this is due to the primary prey which is Chinook salmon. Chinook salmon are very oily and oil would float to the surface. At times we had reporters from organizations like BBC and King 5 that wanted to learn our story. One day a week, I volunteered for Soundwatch, a nonprofit organization that educates boaters about safe whale watching by handing out Be Whale Wise guidelines. We also took vessel count data around the southern resident killer whales to monitor boat traffic. It is important to respect the whales because in 2005, the southern resident killer whales were added to the endangered species list. The goal of our research is to evaluate potential threats to these beloved animals. Proposed threats include boat noise and presence, a decrease in the quantity and quality of prey and an increase in toxins and pollutants. Goodbye.